Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Active Directory through Azure, also known as Entra ID, and adding Grafana and SSO single sign-on for that. So that way you can log into your Microsoft account and get right into Grafana just from here without having to configure a username or password. Um, all you need to do is have yourself added into Entra ID, Active Directory. So I'll go ahead and show you. Um, it's right here. Once you log in, you will be logged into Grafana. Okay, no problem there. So you're going to have to go to Azure. When you get there, you might want to click on Entra ID. Let's see, Entra ID. Okay. And in here, you're going to have to create a new Entra ID uh, and then a new enterprise application. <clears throat> this enterprise application is what you see showing up right here. So if you click into it, um, you'll, you'll have to set this up, but I'll just show you what mine looks like. If we go to the properties view, you want to have that visible and put a nice logo there, right? Uh, and then you're going to want to create users and assign a role to them. Now, where do these roles come from? These roles actually come from the SSO settings for the app. So if I go to properties, there should be an area called app registration right here. I can click into that. Uh, if you don't want to click into that, you can actually get to it from here, from your Entra ID. So if I go to app registration, I'll see that I have this app registered here. I can click into it and app roles. I have these roles right here, ready to go for my app. Okay, and then if I go back to overview, you can click endpoints up here to get the different endpoints for your app for logging in. Um, you can also click your redirect URLs. Okay, so this is where you'll log into. And if we go back to overview, you can create a new secret right here. So that's pretty much your app ID, your object ID. It's pretty much everything you need to get going for SSO. So outside of that, let's take a look at the code. I'm using Flux CD to deploy a Helm chart through a Helm release. So this stuff is kind of unique to Flux CD, but once we get to the values area, this is all uh, part of the Helm release. So what do we have in here? We have this auth.azure read section. You pretty much just give it all of your Active Directory settings, and that's all you need. Uh, if you click into the documentation, so this is the documentation for configure Azure AD for Grafana. Then they give you basically a template right here, which is what I just followed in this. But one thing they give you is a few environment variables so you don't have to expose your secret, these environment variables. So in the Helm chart, if you use env value from and set those environment variables from a secret, which I have right here, a secret, then you don't have to worry about that. So that is that. Uh, and then last thing is that I actually have different uh, roles set up. So there's one role called Grafana Admin. There's an editor role. And there's a viewer role. So the idea behind those roles is if we go back to AD and I go to my app roles, you can see the IDs here match them. So for example, the viewer one starts with 5A8. 5A8. This is a viewer only. So if you're in this Active Directory group, then you are automatically given the uh, oops, 
the role of a viewer in Grafana. So I could demo that here. Um, I'm actually logged in to this one as an admin. And if I click into here, okay, and after logging in, you can see this one does not have administrative access. This one does. This one can add new connections, go to general, all that. This one can not do any of that stuff. So pretty cool. You can go to Active Directory and you can manage uh, which of these accounts are. So we have these different roles here, right? And if I go back to my application, can really easily assign different people in here and give them a role to this, to this uh, enterprise application. So that pretty much sums it up. Again, maybe I'll just kind of review the code. So um, we've got right here the association to the Grafana group, to the Active Directory group. These are all of the configurations that you need. And these are the two environment variables for your secrets that you get from Entra ID. You get all that information from the Grafana documentation. So thanks for watching, and I hope that's useful.